Welcome to D5 Render 2.6. Introducing 38 new features and improvements like AI Atmosphere Match, AI Generated Material Texture Maps, UV Randomizer, Multimedia Material Transparency, and the Intuitive Camera Path Editor. Unleash your creativity with procedurally generated vines and enjoy seamless integration with 3ds Max through D5 Live Sync. 267 items are added to D5 Library including new HDRIs, characters, plain fog models, and a curated selection of futuristic assets. Upgrade to the latest version now. First up, Multimedia Material Transparency. The video material has evolved into a multimedia material, now with the power to handle both videos and images. You can fine-tune the transparency option for that perfect translucent effect. Either with global matte to change the overall transparency or pixel brightness-based luma matte for a nuanced fade where darker areas blend smoothly away. This comes in handy when creating transparent LED screens or 3D holograms. If you get tired of dealing with repetitive textures with large UV, D5 2.6 is here to save the day with its UV randomizer feature. Just switch this option on and watch your textures vary seamlessly, enhancing realism in everything from exterior ground surfaces to water materials. Following the launch of D5 Live Sync for SketchUp, we get you live sync for 3ds Max this time. Hit F9 for full screen mode and view your design brought to life in real time, boosting both speed and quality of your creation. With the new live sync plugin, changes in 3ds Max, models, lights, camera movements, sync in real time with D5 render, eliminating the need for repetitive imports or manual updates. More live sync workflows are coming. Stay tuned. Here comes another significant update. Optimized video editor with camera path display and editing. Simply head to the video panel, pick the clip you want to tweak, and click edit path to access the camera path editing panel. You'll see your camera's path clearly in the scene with each node ready for you to adjust. The path is updated in real time. Watch the camera's movement along the path with the play button and preview the shot in the PIP window. When you're done, you're done to exit. D5 2.6 brings you the brand new templates, taking the video editor to new heights. You can find them on the right side of the video panel, offering a variety of preset camera movements like panning, dolly in and out. Need a shot that glides forward? Simply select the corresponding template and D5 will seamlessly animate your scene from the existing perspective. Orbit shots are a breeze too. Just position them, then adjust the pivot, distance, and sweep for a custom fit. It's all about ease and efficiency. The section tool in D5 was a hit with architects and designers and is now improved in 2.6 to accommodate both interior designers who prefer to exclude environmental lighting from interior space. And architects focusing on exteriors who need it, we've added an affected by lights toggle for better control over interior lighting and sectioning. Section flip action is added. Sectioning outside shows more clearly the internal structure and details of the model. 
Custom Map Import is also supported in Fill, in addition to selecting a fill color. As you can see, the fill surface now exhibits a concrete pattern with an imported concrete texture. Feel free to play with whatever texture you need. The maximum number of section tools in one scene has been increased from 3 to 10. In D5 2.6, SketchUp designers will be pleased to find that the plugin has been updated to support grouped import. Place objects along the path in SketchUp, batch select them, and click Export to export the layers of group structure. Upon importing into D5, the imported objects are accessible in the resource list. You can select all objects within a group and make a bulk replacement by clicking the Replace button located in the top right corner. To ensure the group is correctly oriented as a whole, you can adjust its orientation by rotating a single object within it. Repeat this process on other objects. Additionally, rest assured that these substitutes are fully editable. After switching these trees for a different species, the new set will automatically adopt the existing orientation and scale settings. A new material template is added, flowing water, which comes with a few presets to apply directly or adjust accordingly. This material can simulate running water like streams, waterfalls, and water walls. You can tailor each template through adjustable parameters. When your model has a proper texture mapping, flowing water animations will be auto-generated following its UV direction. A new navigation method is available, walk mode. You can now switch between orbit, fly, and walk in the upper right corner. Activate walk mode to bring the camera down to a human eye-level perspective. You can then walk in the scene in first-person view at a fixed height to view the space. Experience collision simulation when meeting obstacles. And even climb up and down stairs or slopes The prompt box in the lower left corner displays the height and speed information of the current viewpoint. We're also taking steps further in enhancing D5's AI capability. A groundbreaking new feature is AI Atmosphere Match, designed to swiftly align your scene with a desired vibe. Simply upload a reference image, select the perspective to match, and hit start generating for an instant transformation. D5 team is continuously improving the AI model, so expect even more stable and precise results with just a few clicks. For designers, it's not uncommon to find yourself in need of various maps. Now, thanks to D5's AI-powered texture map generation, you can effortlessly fill in the gaps. Import your diffuse map into the base color map slot, and with a simple click of the button in the top right corner, D5 instantly produces the corresponding normal roughness and displacement maps for a complete material set. Another innovative feature is procedural generation of vines. Pick from six procedurally generated vines from the library and place it vertically against a model surface. Keep adjusting until the leaf shape decal appears on the surface Hit Generate on the right to get a lifelike climbing vine effect, with customizable settings and a random option for regeneration. In effect, 
post-processing, highlight, and shadow local exposure are added to allow for more precise adjustments of the local highlight or shadow exposure in the scene. You can increase the highlight local exposure to darken the sky for more details and increase shadow local exposure to prevent certain areas from being too dark. Water material has also been improved and editing its base color can now be more noticeably represented. A new scattering color option is added to the base color section, which determines the color of water body under the surface. These give you better control of the water material effect. With camera animation sync added to the plug in D5 Sync for Cinema 4D, you can import camera animations with position keyframe information from Cinema 4D to D5 Importing multiple selected cameras is also supported. In Geo and Sky, custom sun is added with adjustable altitude, azimuth, sunlight intensity, and sun disk radius parameters. Scene list has been optimized with integration of advanced camera. While you can still click on a scene to revert to the view and update it in the list, in version 2.6, each scene created corresponds to a new camera. This new camera button activates camera editing mode with one click. Here, set the camera as you like. Aspect ratio and other changes made to the camera are auto-saved. When you go for a new perspective, however, you'll need to click the Update button to save the changes manually. After necessary adjustments, exit the camera mode by clicking the camera icon. When you start navigating to edit the scene, the set aspect ratio would be automatically canceled, which can be switched back when you click on the scene to preview it. Click on a certain scene's camera icon in the scene list whenever you need the camera viewport. Hit the pin to fix it in the viewport and click full screen to maximize the window. Now, as you can see, cameras have been seamlessly integrated into the scene list to make it more robust and convenient to use. For imported ABC files, more animation control parameters are now available. D5's artificial light sources now feature calibration with real-world measurement units, namely candela and lumens, which can be interchanged at will to enhance lighting setup precision. Rect lights now support attenuation intensity, enabling precise control over the light's reach for a rectangular-shaped light source. You can effortlessly create rect lights with higher intensity while having a confined area of effect. In pursuit of a more refined workflow, D5 remains dedicated to ongoing improvements, which includes drag and drop maps to the texture slot for easy uploading, optimize render queue with more information display on thumbnail hover, format, resolution, channel export, video duration, frame rate, and more. 
save compressed file option, in preference general, to save storage space for project archives. The Asset Library is a primary focus of D5's ongoing efforts to elevate its services, and in 2.6, more aspects of the user experience are enhanced. Introducing the new HDRI Library, where you can search for, select, and directly apply an HDRI. The search bar is updated with an optimized UI to provide you with a better search experience. Press tab to switch between different libraries. Fuzzy search is also supported, so upon entering text, the search box intelligently suggests related assets or tags, simplifying the search process. The UI for the primary and secondary menu expansion has been optimized for a more distinct visual separation between categories. When a new category is expanded, the previous one will automatically collapse in this version. New order features. You can now sort the assets by name, latest, and free first. Favorite is also added to the asset filter. All right, that wraps up our 2.6 overview. Don't forget to explore the updates yourself by opening D5 and for the complete release note, please follow the link in the description. If you're seeking in-depth tutorials on specific features, we welcome your comments below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next version.